Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Million Dollar Hall of Fame member, Emily Vavra. How we doing, GoPro? I got a question for you. you gotta be honest. You ready to be honest? Yeah. Okay. How many of you have ever been in a slump in your life? Say I. I. Whether it be your business currently, maybe you feel bored, Maybe you feel like you're living in fear and you just can't seem to take the next step forward. Maybe it's in a relationship in your life and it's a total slump. Maybe you've lost a job. Maybe you've lost a loved one. Maybe you're facing demons and battles that you just can't seem to get to the other side. I don't know what it is, but I know personally, I've been through so many slumps, and I know that you have too. And I believe that a lot of people in this room and watching online want to win big. You want to lead your homes. You want to lead teams. You want to create that change. But you are stuck, and you're stuck in the slump and you don't know how to get out. Would you like me to guide you through the ways that I get out of slumps? Yeah. Yes? All right, let's do the dang thing. Einstein says everything in life is a vibration. He does, smart man, okay? Have you guys ever walked into a room and maybe it's you, or maybe you've seen someone walk into a room and you're like, wow, their energy is amazing. Like, yeah, you're like, dang, who is that? And you just feel their energy and it just raises the room, right? And you wanna be more of that. It's because they're light. It's because they're playing at a higher level. It's because it's their frequency is much, much, much higher. And when you learn to raise your frequency in your life in all areas, your attraction when you're building your business comes with ease because you're light, you're fluid. And some of you are, are at such a low frequency, okay, and we all go in and out of this all day long, trust me, but some of you have been at this low frequency for so freaking long and you're trying to, to do activity and, and you're not getting any movement, it's because your frequency is so low. It is, it's the truth. And your true work in life, my friends, is to just keep lifting your frequency and to take that massive personal responsibility every single day when you get up, when you look in the mirror to take ownership of your life, to say, you know, if this is gonna happen, it's up to me. It's not up to anybody else. It's up to me to get better every single day. That is my work in my life every single day. I get up and I ask myself, what are you grateful for? What are you gonna do today? What are you gonna do today to get a little bit better? Every single day. Now let me walk you through this. So some of you are a little lost. You're like, what's she talking about? Frequency, huh? This is the emotional guidance scale. And I love this scale to just really paint a picture of, of uh, of this downward spi spiral that some of you are truly living in. And we all live in it, all of us. Even the greatest of greats will go to number 22, which is the lowest frequency on the vibration scale. Okay, living in fear. What do people think of me? Okay, when I go out there and share this business, when I send this message, what is, what is someone gonna say about me when I post a picture of myself on social because I'm truly confident in who I am and I just don't care what you think. But some of you, are living in fear land. 
You're truly living in fear, the lowest vibrating emotion there is. Insecurity, guilt. Some of you feel guilty for pursuing your dreams. You literally feel guilty. The lowest frequency level. Jealous. You're jealous of people on this stage. You're jealous of people in your company. Come on. You're jealous of people in your life, your friends, whatever. Low frequency. You gossip to make yourself feel better. Low vibing person. Anger. You're not dealing with your anger issues. Blame. My upline's not, not there for me and they never take my calls and, you know, or it's the opposite. My upline, they're too much. They won't get away from me. <laughs> the truth is we don't know what to do with you. So you do something with you. You do something. That's the freaking truth. You're bored. You're bored. Some of you are bored. You make good money. It's easy street. Believe me, I became a millionaire when I was 26 years old. I had to figure it out. I live four blocks from the ocean. I drive a car most would only dream of. I have everything in life I wanted. And so when I got to that boredom level, I had to check myself. And I had to travel across the world and go sleep in a hut and talk to people that can't even afford shoes, if you get what I mean. I had to go to another level because I realized that I was on the low frequency scale. It's about ownership. So you wanna be on the upward scale. You wanna be going up, hopeful. This is why I love this great profession because we give people that are so hopeless, they're so lost, they're so broken and we give them hope and suddenly their frequency starts to change. Positive expectation. God will meet you at your level of expectation every time. What do you expect for your life? What are you speaking over your life every single day? Passion, passion. Gosh, don't you love passionate people? It's like, oh, I'm like, let me just get around them. Let me just get around passionate, faithful people. God will use the most passionate, faithful people over the most talented. Let me tell you that. Joy, the highest vibrating emotion. You need more joy in your life. You got to figure out how to get it and get it fast. Every single day, what you appreciate, appreciates. Every single day. When I started this business at 23 years old, flat broke, I moved in with my mentor. Kind of crazy. You don't have to do that, but I did because I was hungry. Hungry. Say hungry. hungry. Yeah, that's what I was hungry and I had a mattress on the floor in this apartment and I didn't have a bed frame it was just this mattress and I just the low vibrating stuff would come up you know oh man oh gosh what are people, people gonna think of me and oh all oh, oh, the fear and am I ever gonna like get a bed frame you know like can't bring anybody home like this is crazy no I'm just kidding like you know I had I had every single like every single low vibrating emotion. And then I started to appreciate the bed because not everybody even has a freaking mattress to sleep on, if you get what I mean. You know, I started to appreciate, 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 appreciate that, you know, I live in one of the greatest countries in the world. Appreciate, 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 appreciate. I started walking around taller. I started expecting more. I started expecting, you know, I will be a millionaire with this company. I will be a millionaire in this profession. I started walking taller. I started appreciating every single thing in my life and my frequency started to change. And this is a daily thing, guys, a daily thing we have to go to work on. A daily thing. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, you know what, Em, this is great, and I'm getting it, and I'm getting it, and I'm getting it, but gosh, I've, I've got some deep stuff going on in my life right now. And I feel you. I feel you more than ever. I feel you. Okay. Let me just tell you. A few months ago, I lost my best friend. And... 
she was the most amazing young girl in the whole wide world. She was, she was five years old. That's Cassidy, Cassidy Grace. And um, she was a tragic accident. And I was actually doing meetings. I was in Chicago. We stopped at a Vikings Bears game just because. Um, love football. And then we were running meetings, had a run to Arizona, and I get this call from this family that I mentor in Central California. And there's a tragic accident. And Cassidy, uh, she is full of life. When you, when you look at the frequency scale, it's joy, it's love. Like, man, kids just have this way about them, don't they? Like, it's just, she makes you feel like a million bucks. When I would go to the, this family's house that I mentor, she would sleep on me overnight. Like, literally, we just were so close. She would listen to the meetings. She would try to draw out the comp plan. <laughs> Your kids are watching. And I just was so connected to her. She taught me so much. Taught me how to love more. She taught me everything. And when this, this happened, I got there as quick as I, as I could, and I ended up, you know, I hope you understand when you have financial freedom, just the availability we have, ended up laying in a hospital bed with her for seven days, and, you know, being there when we lost her. And the thing I want to share with you, you know, some of you in this room are dealing with really heavy stuff, and it's in these moments of life where it just gets so hard and you are on the ground and you're like, something's got to give and you feel this pain. You know, and it, it, you, you, we have a choice is what I want to say. And you can either be broken, you can be broken from the crappy relationship you were in where you, you were betrayed. You can, you can be broken because you lost the job where you, you served at this job for 20 whatever years. You can be broken and live in it and stay in it, or you can be broken open, my friends. You can be broken open. Because when, tr when trials happen, and maybe it's even a trial in your business, maybe a big builder left, you know, it's like you built it, you lost it, you built it, you lie. We, we, it's, we go through it all here, okay? And, and you realize you're, you're not who you thought you were. When you go through trials, you realize you're truly not who you thought you were. And you have to dig to the depths of your soul. And you got to dive deep to figure out what you're made of. And you got to turn, you know, I turn to God, and I, I go to, I just go to another place, and I realize I'm not alone, and I thought I was alone, and you're not alone. You gotta turn to relationship, okay? And you can use this pain, this struggle that you're in, and turn it into fuel. And you can use it to charge your life. And now, I'm more motivated than I've ever been in nine years. I don't have to work anymore. I wanna work even harder now because of this little girl, because of the pain, because I have been broken open. You feel me? You understand? So how do we raise our vibration? How do we raise our frequency? It sounds so easy. It's like, turn on some good music and let's go, right? No, There's th th these are just 12 simple principles that I do each and every single day. Some days I'm better at it than others. Okay, number one, practice gratitude. Have an attitude of gratitude in everything. Get up, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, talk to yourself, thank you. Don't get on Facebook, don't get on Instagram, don't even look at your phone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You will literally feel, the more you do this and the better you get it, you're gonna feel your frequency change. You will feel your, your, your body change, okay? Because you can't feel fear or anger while feeling gratitude at the same time. When I was backstage, you know, doing my thing, and I had this moment of fear, I'm like, this is such an honor and privilege to be in front of all these people that want to change their life. It's an honor and privilege. Thank you. Thank you. I ch changed my state. Totally changed my state, you know? Um, let's see, number two, love. Love. 
highest vibrating state there is. We gotta love more, truly. Love every single person that comes in and out of your business, my friends. Yes, people need to be loved, okay? You know, I was recently talking to a woman on my team that was in a funk, and I'm like, who do you love the most? And she's like, my kid took me years to get pregnant and years of failure pregnancies. I'm like, okay, let's just stop for a hot second. Think about your kid. Think about your kid. Like, envision your kid. And I'm like, what are you feeling? And she's like, I'm warm. My heart is warm. And I'm like, raising your frequency, raising your vibration. Generosity. Mmm, some of you have been playing a stingy game. When we're generous, it provokes this positive emotion within us. Generous with our time. Generous, you know, with a smile to a stranger on the street. When you feel like you need more, give more. That's what I'm saying. Whenever you feel low, go give, go serve. Get up early, help set up church. This is what I do in Hollywood. I'm a really busy person, okay? But I don't care because things just don't appear. It's about ownership. It's about reaching out a hand and helping people. Okay, so give your time, give your money, give it all away, I promise you it'll come back tenfold. Forgiveness, woo! Do we got people we need to forgive or what? Am I the only one that's like just being completely transparent here? Okay, forgiveness. Blame is one of the lowest frequencies. So some of you have just like, you're blaming everybody for everything in your life. You guys, you gotta stop. You gotta forgive. You gotta forgive people that maybe won't even take your call when you try to call them to forgive them. Release, 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 move on. Eat high vibe and food. Yes, it's just not, it's not just to have abs, okay? It's not, it's not just that, okay? It's not just to look good, but it's to feel good. Nutrient-dense, rich foods. It matters. You want to be a high performer? Stop, stop eating junk all the time. I'm serious. Meditation, breath work. Everybody knows that Emily doesn't answer the phone in the morning. I don't, because I get up and I do my morning routine. Prayer, I spend time praying, and everyone has different beliefs in here, but that's what I do, okay? Um, meditate. You know, at first when I started my business, I was like in Minnesota where it was cold, and sometimes I'd look at the frozen lake. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I really would. But now it's like I go to the ocean. That was on my vision board, by the way go to the ocean, I literally just put my feet in the sand. Meditate, meditate. Prayer, you're asking. Meditation, you're receiving. Some of your minds are, they are so much in the gutter because all you guys do is roll out of bed and you go down the scroll hole. I'm serious. And then you're like, jealousy, oh, how does he have that car? Or like, what's going on, he had another rank? Like, ugh, I'm better than that, you know? Like, no, this matters. I spend more time getting myself right so I can be a bigger, better person for everybody else in my life. <laughs> Reduce or eliminate alcohol. I mean, you can have fun sometimes in moderation. Okay. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all being fun. Okay, but no, really. Remove toxins. Do a cleanse every now and again. It does matter. Some of you are so medicated that you can't even be here without the medication. And that makes me really, really sad. I was out with a group of our team in LA and we were having a blast. And like people were coming up to us. No, we, they didn't know we were networkers. Like they were literally coming up to us talking to us, and, and it's because, why, why is it? It's because our, our frequency is so high, when we're, individually and together. We hang out with people whose frequencies and, and people who, who want to lift their frequency, but we weren't even drinking. We weren't even drinking alcohol. They just wanted to be around us. That's the place you want to be, that you don't need that stuff to have a good time. You feel me? 
Okay. Think positive thoughts. What you think about, you become. Okay? And, and you know, the, the deeper you fall in love with yourself and gain confidence, it's going to be so much easier, but you do need to check yourself from time to time. Like, get a rubber band, snap your wrist if you start thinking negative. It's true. We have to be, we have to be so mindful of the thoughts that are coming in, those negative thoughts. You've got to be aware, nip it in the butt. Okay? Consume high-vibing music, TV, books. Okay, instead of commuting to work, listening to heavy metal rock, maybe you need to listen to, you know, Eric Worre, or maybe you need to listen um, to um, positive affirmations. Maybe you need to listen to uh, spiritual music. You know, that stuff matters, truly. I fuel my brain um, with mentors and people that have similar belief systems as me. And, and I've been doing this for almost a decade, and it truly, truly works. I can feel it if I've been listening to crap, around crap, you become a crap magnet, okay? So be careful about that. <laughs> Surround yourself with beauty. My home, I, granted, I don't have kids, so some of you are mad at me when I say this, but it's like a showroom. Okay, it's like immaculate. The colors are light, the energy's light. When things collect, I get rid of it. I just, I wanna breathe, I wanna think, okay? Be outside. So I'm banging out calls all day long, but I will take a break and go on walks and connect and review of my conversations and review my plans. And what did I say? What, what did I say to that person I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I better do it, right? So I take that time to connect. Um, and then, of course, make sure that your relationships are vibing high. Yes? Yeah, or yes. Yeah! This matters, my friends. This truly, truly matters. Hanging out with people that are 10 steps ahead of me completely changed my life. I'm very protective of my energy. I'm very protective of it. Uh, and, you know, some of you have just been hanging out with people who don't even believe in what you're doing. And, and this happened to me in the start of my business. You know, I didn't go to a college or university. Everything I've learned is all self-taught books. It is, and, and a lot of my friends did. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but they would make fun of me. They would make fun of my vision boards. And suddenly I realized, hey, you don't really love me for me because literally you just keep poking fun and talking crap about everything I do. So bye, bye, yeah. Found friends that actually care. Found friends that take me to another level in life. Those are the people I hang out with. We sit around and say, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to change our life? What are we gonna do to get better? What are we gonna do? What are you doing? What are you working on? What are you praying? What, do I, what can I pray for you for? What are we gonna do? Those are the people you wanna hang out with. Not the people who like you to stay in Stuckville with them. Okay, radical action. Okay, we gotta hurry this thing up. So radical action. You're gonna increase your frequency, but then you're gonna take radical action in your business. And maybe it's doing a 90-day game plan, and then maybe it's really doing a 90-day game plan. We've all started them, haven't we? Have you finished everyone? No, you lied. Okay, no, we, we, gotta, we gotta start and we gotta finish. Giving it your all. Maybe it's building into an event. This is some of our US team. That's building into an event, okay? Running a campaign, like really running it and, and giving it all you got. And, and, and let me just tell you, you guys, we, are, we, are, we all have the ability to be creative in this room. You know, you sometimes, again, that's, this is why I meditate. This is why I do these things, is so I can come up with ideas and then implement them. Okay, run a team promo. Daily method of operation. How tight are you on that? You know, when I knew I wanted to be a millionaire, you know, I was like, a millionaire makes $500 an hour. Okay, so I started watching my time. And I'm like, this is amateur hour time. Like, this is so amateur. And I started to respect my time. I started to have that posture. I started to expect it. Remember, I talk about expecting it. God will meet you at your level of expectation. So I started to have that posture with it and then really monitoring my DMOs. Daily method of operation. Do you have one? Part-time, full-time, got to get it. Okay, set team standards. And this is why we must take care of ourselves first. Okay, because if we want to lead others, we must first lead ourselves. Yes, thank you. Okay, we must first lead ourselves. Culture of excellence, culture of excellence. Let's be creative. This is just one random creative thing I did. Okay, within the company, within my big team, 
And within my big team, another thing. So it's like team within blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I made this up, Millionaire Girls Club. Okay, you had to qualify. We wore pink pajamas. I got you to an event. And then we had an event within an event. We were breaking through everybody's limiting beliefs in this room, wearing our pink pajamas. You know, look who showed up. Gwen Stefani came. Okay, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe, can you even believe it? And Lady Gaga. It was a party. Be creative. Some of you are just waiting for your company to do stuff. Stop it. Get in the game. Get in the game. Like, I cannot, I cannot handle people who blame their way through life. You have to take action. Let me just tell you, people thought I was making gangster money when I wasn't because I acted as if and I didn't rely on anybody else to do the work for me. I would come up with stuff. Hey, anybody want to do 5K? I would like make them go running. I'd make them put on costumes. People need culture like they need to breathe. Okay, it's up to us. Increase your frequency day by day by day by day by practicing these 12 things I just went over with you. Increase it. Look at that frequency scale. When you're feeling low, let's get you out of it. Because that low, those low vibes, if you stay there, it's going to ruin your whole day. And if you stay there long enough, it's going to ruin your whole week. And if you stay there long enough, it's going to ruin your whole month. And if you stay there even longer, it's going to ruin your quarter, it's going to ruin your year, it's going to ruin your life. This is what happens if we are not intentional about moving forward. I think a lot of us are playing so small. We've been conditioned for so long to live a mediocre life that we've convinced ourselves that's literally all there is. And it makes me so sad. It's an insult to your creator. Increase, increase, raise your frequency, unleash. I'm telling you, unleash. We need you in this world now more than ever, my friends. Are you ready to unleash? Who's ready? Are you ready over here? Get up, are you ready? Get up if you're ready. I wanna hear you if you're ready. We need you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right now, get up, let's go. Unleash, it's in you, it's in you. I love you so much. Go out there, make it happen. If your friend's not standing up, tell them they're gonna be broke. I'm sorry, if you can't stand up in here, how the H are you gonna do it at home? Let's go! I love you, thank you.